Hey folks, Doc here. Um, hmm. Can you see any of this? Um, this is a video response to bacon soda. He was showing off his onions. I just want to show off my onions. Um, they're really setting some nice bulbs now. Look at that. That's comparison to my finger. Um, how big that, that's huge, much bigger than last year. Um, so I'm really proud of my onions in comparison. I mean, it certainly puts bacon soda's onions to shame uh, size-wise. And uh, I was growing other things. There was uh, <clears throat> lettuce growing in the center. Oh, now there's grass growing in the center. Um, there was lettuce growing in the center there. That one got a little bit off-center. Uh, these are actually... Oh, second crop. I'd already trimmed those ones out. Must not have pulled the root. Um, and then I have... Oh, wait. Oh, those are my bunching onions. Okay, that explains it. These are uh, my red onions. It's fairly hard to see this in this light. I either have my big old shadow in the way, or... Uh, Um, get some bad sunlight. Uh, I can barely see this. Anyway, that's that. Had some problems with pumpkin. Growing pumpkin. And uh, you can see, if you look here, there's a pumpkin setting. However, uh, that one is a... This one right here is a pumpkin fruit that has uh, met its maker. It has left this mortal coil. Here's another pumpkin that looks like it's hopefully going to set fruit and uh, by looking at the right one, there we are. Um, a lot of my melons and uh, squashes have been setting fruit and then they quickly die. They turn yellow from the blossom end and then uh, fall off at the stem. Now here we have some white onions and uh, with a butternut squash growing through the midst of them. Uh, they're starting to set bulb and uh, not quite as nicely as the white onions which are over here, or yellow onions rather. Got some yellow onions coming in, and they are looking pretty nice. Now, I noticed that um, Bacon Soda had spaced his at four inches, I think was the minimum, or five inches was the minimum. Four, five, and six, I guess, doing an experiment. And these are set at three inches. Um, there's yeah, nine per square. I'm doing square foot garden method and uh, putting nine onions per square. And they seem to be bulbing rather nicely, uh, much better than last year. And I'm actually getting onions. Last year when I did this, I didn't get onions. I got, um, I planted onion sets and I got onion sets back, basically. Um, they didn't really grow at all. Now here we have my strawberries. And I had been cutting the flowers off. This is their first year in. I've been cutting off the, the flowers um, on the... See, I've got four, four rows down this 4 foot by 12 foot bed. And I was cutting the flowers off of the... Um, this end and that end. Um, all the way down. And I decided oh, part way through the year, the year to just start letting things grow. And we'll see what happens. I really do like the vigor of bacon sodas. Strawberries are much, much more vigorous than mine, but they've got an extra year of growth. He also said he was cutting off the runners, and I haven't been cutting the runners. And I'm starting to think maybe, particularly the ones that are coming out over the sides of the bed, I may cut and dispose of those. Or maybe cut them and put them in dirt and see if I can get them to grow and give them to friends. This is an ever-bearing variety. Um, 
cannot remember the name of it. Something like Seacrest or Seascape or something bizarre like that. Um, the beans have run amok. Um, apparently a half runner does not mean bush bean, although it said bush bean on the package. Uh, it also said half runner, so I probably needed to trellis those up. Somewhere in this mess, uh, between the cranberry beans and the half runners, are some pepper plants. I think you can see one right there. Uh, is that him? He's the pale yellow thing, whatever. Yeah, right there. Uh, so I don't expect to get any peppers off of those. Well, I guess that's all I have to talk about. I wanted to talk, show bacon soda, my onions, and my strawberries. And got the carrots coming in, but um, this is going to be sad. Uh, I, these are uh, six inch deep beds, but then I realize I only have four inches of soil in there. Yeah, those are going to be mighty stubby carrots, because it's pretty hard packed sand underneath the, uh, the soil mix I put in the boxes. Oh, now, if you see these, if you came over, you could take one of them. These are leeks. Although, I don't really suggest you coming over to my house to take Oh, that was just terrible. I'm sorry. I think I may have to cut that out. Well, look at that. That's a beautiful little uh, eggplant there. It's gotten much bigger. It's grown about an inch in two days now. Oh, and here's something. This is spectacular. Look at this. Oh, not that this right here. Look at that beauty. That's a weed. I seem to be very good at growing those. Anyway, have a great day, folks. I mean, any day in a garden is a great day, isn't it?